Welcome, it's Ali from Ali's Cards and Knickknacks. Thank you for joining me on this lovely wet um, Tuesday. Unfortunately, we are getting a great deal of rain again and I feel sorry for the people further north of us, Lismore, um, Coss Harbour. They're all getting uh, very wet at the moment. So my thoughts are with you guys. I hope you don't uh, have terribly high floods this time like last time. On to our crafting session. All right, so today it's all about um, this stamp set, Shaded Summer. I haven't done much with this set, and which made me decide to use it. Um, I, I, um, it's quite a lovely, I love the writing on it. I love um, the sentiments when they're in running writing. Um, and it's got happy birthday and thank you and some nice friendship sayings. So today I am going to do mainly embossing. I thought I don't do much embossing um, on video. So I thought today we'll use this shaded summer stamp set and dies. Um, and... I'll show you the cards we're about to do. So um, this one's obviously in gold and I've used Stamping Up's um, 12 by 12 Shimmer Vellum, which is beautiful. So, and this is some very lovely paper from Simply Elegant um, Paper. Um, it's beautiful. Um, a lot of gold in it so um, and to give us these borders I've used stitched with whimsy dies so um, they're lovely so have a look at them as well um, we do have um, a new catalogue coming out soon and we have um, all the items that are being discontinued on sale so have a look on my website you'll be able to see the items on sale and um, on my blog I'll put a link in um, for the on sale uh, items um, some of the items are up to 50% off okay so um, a, a good time to stock up on all your favorites and all the in colors um, that we've had for two years are on special as well because they're leaving us so how about we start, <clears throat> this is the little kit, so we've got our very vanilla card, it's a standard um, uh, size, so we're, we're looking at the 14.8 here and 21 centimetres here, so when you fold it in half you come to 10.5. There we go. There we, we go. So that's our basic card stock. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our shimmer gold vellum on like this. So now the only issue that you have with vellum is when you use liquid glue, it shows through. So I know that I'm going to be putting this piece here. So I'm going to use glue in the middle and I'm going to use sticky dots in the corners to hold my corners down. Now this um, makes it a lot easier because you won't see the glue and you know your vellum won't lift. Now why do I put sticky dots in the corner? Because the corners lift and um, fold because I'm um, if you're putting it in the post etc uh, you don't want your corners to fold up or crease or anything like that so I just like a sticky dot there to hold them in place uh, there we go one more sticky dot I'm using um, stamping up pick it's a um, most ingenious tool uh, and it also has a little brush attachment for when you're doing fine um, die cutting and you need to push out all the little pieces. So there we go. Sticky dots down. Now, going to 
try my best to put this down so I'm going to hold my corners up because they're sticky dots and they'll stick as soon as I put them down try and get it as straight as possible all right just flattening my glue out as you can see you can see the glue in the middle but that's okay because this is going to cover it up like that and we've got our corners down so it's all good now we're going to do some embossing I'll just put that aside for the moment and uh, this is the middle piece and this is the front piece would you excuse me my dog wants to be let out you want to go out Molly go on And there we go, I'm back. And Molly's gone outside. She wants to be in the study with me, but as soon as I shut that door, she wants out. It doesn't matter what, where, she doesn't like to be locked in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, anti-static our cardboard, all right? So I've got a dusting cloth. I like to be quite generous. The reason we do this is um, to take the static out because we're going to sprinkle gold powder on it and we only want it where our stamp is. So we use Versamark. It's a sticky stamp. stamp. Just make sure I'm still in the shot. Give it a good ink up. Now my Versamark is quite old actually I'm nearly due for a new one now this lovely flower I'm going to put dead center you do have a little bit of time when you're using Versamark it's it doesn't dry that quick now I'm using a little sprig I'm inking it up with our sticky ink pad and I can just see the outline of um, my stamp I keep losing it in the light so I wanted to put an extra sprig in there and we're doing thank you today so I've done all my stamping I know can you believe it how easy is that so I've done all the prep work I've cut down our, um, our very vanilla pieces now this piece here that goes on the front is nine centimeters by twelve and a half centimeters um, I've cut it down to that size to complement the edging we've done with the uh, whimsy die cuts and I used the second one in this set so the second biggest one in the stitch with whimsy dies. So here we go. Got our gold paper. Don't touch your stamped area. And, and let the magic happen. I love watching it all come on. I'll give it a good tap get any extra sprinkles off there we go so that one's done oh look I've put it everywhere so I just haven't done this one yet and I do want to do it I've already de-staticked now this is our center card and I just wanted some little piece in the center again Sprinkle the gold powder, dust it off, beautiful, and the lid, here it is, put the lid on my powder, cover my stamp pad, I don't want the heat to touch it, now it's going to get noisy, so please excuse me, I'll just take my gun up down low, um, it takes a minute to warm up, not even that really. 
There we go. So I'll just apply heat. And when it's done. Sorry about that noise. There we go. That isn't that lovely. So, and that's your middle one there. So we're going to apply it onto our gold here. And of course, I can use glue on on this one. Now, just be careful, because um, I've used the dies that punch a pattern through it. The glue will actually poke through. So I'm avoiding that area. There we go. And hopefully I won't have any glue coming out like worms. Yep. we go now I like a little gold ribbon and when using the gold foil here so to be honest I've got way too much here so I probably couldn't use it but I've got to the stage where I used to skimp on my ribbon and I found I could never tie my bows well and I, um, I found now if I don't skimp on the ribbon, and I know I cut a lot off, but I get better results. And to me, that's more important than um, saving a centimetre of ribbon. No, no one doesn't want to sit nice for me. This one does, though. No, I'll just trim those tails off. Chuck the rest in the bin. See, I, I know I wasted that, but sometimes you just got to decide whether you want a nice ribbon and say, save um, or save on the ribbon. Right, so now a sticky dot again. And then I'll just pop that down there on the stalk, push that down, try and tidy it up so it looks nice, there we go, and th there it is, so I'm going to do inside the middle now with my gold shimmer vellum. Again, a bit of glue in the middle. Again, with the sticky dots. Try and be as quick as I can. in the corner is better. Now if you're wondering how I've, I'm doing with my dots the way they are is I've put a rubber band around the bottom of my dots. I cut off the inside. I'll just show you just quickly. So I cut one of these off this side where they come out like that. Uh, 
and then close the lid do it over there and rubber band to hold that down and I just keep a little tail and that way you can see your dots as you come out if you find they're getting stuck sometimes um, depending on where the rolls up to sometimes I actually have to cut a little square out to stop them from sticking to my box there we go that'll resolve any problems so and that way it comes out you can pull off all your dots you can see them you don't have to go finding them um, it makes life much easier I will just pop this one inside like that and how's that for the inside of the card so that's the gold version now if you um, I did do my sentiment different on the sample and I wasn't keen on it <laughs> so I, I um, decided I had I done it, cut it out, put it on some um, gold shimmer vellum and then put it up on a, a dimensional. But I decided that I wasn't that keen on it and I uh, just embossed it straight onto the card. So let's make the silver one really quickly. It is the same process without vellum though. This is what's all in it and I've done all the pre-cutting. So once again, standard card base, which is half of an A4 sheet. Burnish your crease very quickly. DSP goes down. Now in Simply Elegant, there is just so much to choose from. I could have used any sheet in that. Just beautiful set. DSP I would grab it before it discontinues I believe it's going to discontinue as well so here we go I might stick my inside DSP in as well And our two cards. Right, first mark, the static, don't want any powder to leave its mark. So there's our sprigs on the inside one. Now this one I thought I'd put a sentiment in and it says some friendships are just meant to be. I'll go there. So our thank you down in the corner. A very large stamp. Now of course you can use this stamp um, and colour it in. You could still emboss the image and colour in the petals. But I wanted to keep it more neutral. I just felt that uh, it was elegant without overdoing it. So just trying to find that spot. There we go. Cover your Versa mark. Now we're going to use silver. So oh, there we go. Silver powder. I'll pick this card up. Just 
make sure I've got every little square inch. Yep. Now I do have a few sprinkles there. I have a blending brush, an old one, and I'll just pat that one. I'll just put that somewhere where I won't lean on it. So it looks like my stamp didn't ink up in that spot, which is a shame. So I'm just going to try and, this is called an embossing pen. I don't know if it will work. Let's try and put more embossing ink there. A little bit better. Not the best, but anyway, it's done. What's done is done. So again, with the heat gun, I'm very sorry about the noise. I'll try to be as quick as I can. I'll just brush the edges. Because the gun was already warm, it doesn't take long when your gun's warmed. Okay, here's our two embossed pieces. Aren't they lovely? I think they are. So here we go. Let's put them onto our card. I remember once again. I try and stay away from the actual embossed section so the glue doesn't squirt out and make a mess. I do want to make sure I get these corners down. I must have a thing about corners. I like the corners to be down. good and I'll open up because there's no embossing actual from a die cut I'm right to glue wherever Now you will notice that my middle card um, here, the very vanilla, is a bit bigger than the front to leave plenty of room for writing. And there we have, oh, let's not forget the ribbon. down, cut my tails, 
sticky dot. Yes, I go through sticky dots. But I do love them. They're perfect for all sorts of ribbon. And vellum and um, small pieces that you don't want to use glue for. Look at that naughty piece. It just doesn't want to sit. But a sticky dot will soon fix his little worthy barrow. There we go. And there we have it. So our two lovely silvers. I hope you can see that the shine's not going. Beautiful. And our two gold. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're watching, please leave me a message. I love receiving messages. I will have this on uh, YouTube, blog and Pinterest um, if you wish to find them and find um, all the products that I've used today. Um, I do want to thank you for watching my videos. If you are on YouTube, remember to subscribe to my channel. It does help me a great deal. Thanks, Jody. I appreciate you um, stopping by and having a look. Um, I think they're very elegant. Uh, um, I, I, I do like this stamp set. Uh, so anyway, have a good day. Happy crafting. God bless. Bye-bye for now.